At first glance, Google Cloud Platform is huge. There are so many tools, services, and APIs that sometimes it can be difficult to know how it all fits together. Especially if you have existing applications where what you use and what GCP offers don't seem to match up directly. If you've been intrigued by the prospect of migrating to GCP, but haven't known where to start, don't worry. We are here to help. Let's take a look at a couple of application types and see how GCP lines up. We'll start simple with static websites. No fancy server stuff here, just some raw HTML and JavaScript files for client-side processing. For this example, Google Cloud Storage is the perfect place to start. GCS offers global object storage and fetching via URL, so content can be fetched directly without having to invoke any server code. Uploads are available almost immediately, replicated and backed up worldwide on Google's network and infrastructure. With partnerships with CDNs around the world, GCS can also reduce the cost of and speed to access your content. And the best part? You can create a domain that points right to your GCS buckets, so to users it looks like a regular website. They don't need to worry themselves about the whole infinitely scalable CDN thing. So far, so good. But also pretty simple. Next, let's look at something a little bit more complex, but still very common. Virtual private servers. These are VMs running somewhere in uh, the cloud. You might be running a game server or a chatbot or anything else that needs a dedicated machine and root access. Google Compute Engine can do the same thing for you, but comes with a lot more bells and whistles. GCE is a full infrastructure as a service offering, including a set of Linux and Windows images and the ability to configure your VMs with the exact CPU and RAM specifications that you need. It's also got a lot of the other handy stuff that you might not find elsewhere, like uh, live migration, multiple region support, local SSDs, instant snapshots, and preemptible VMs. Not to mention production level things like auto scaling, health check systems, and full integration into Stackdriver, which provides tracing, error handling, and monitoring on your behalf. So if you're running a private server but don't want to deal with all the overhead of managing a private server, GCE is a great option. But in reality, there's a good chance that you have an application which is a mix of the two. You serve some static content but also have server-side compute needs. In that case, doing all the heavy lifting of managing dedicated VMs and uh, paying for them might be overkill which is exactly what the platform as a service offerings are for. App Engine Standard lets you serve static content and also provides a server-side compute to interact with. We handle all the deployment, migration, regions, and scaling, and you get to focus on getting your app to users. GAE Standard has a flexible billing model and allows your app to scale down to zero instances, so you don't pay if no one's using it. Plus, it has built-in access to other GCP services like Datastore, Cloud SQL, Memcache, BigQuery, Auth, and more. The trade-off for all these benefits is that App Engine Standard comes with a few restrictions. There's a fixed set of supported languages, and you don't get access to the disk of the instance, and you definitely don't have root access. But if you're just deploying a client-server system with minimal headache, that's an easy trade-off to make. If you do need more control, but still want all the managed goodness, App Engine Flex is worth investigating. Flex gives you all the same management, auto-scaling, and bandwidth splitting as standard, but also lets you run with full root privileges, with any language or container you want. The trade-off here is that Flex doesn't allow you to scale to zero and has a different pricing structure, so you'll definitely want to make sure to check out the pricing calculator. Finally, let's talk about hybrid clouds. If uh, you're a company with a lot of on-premise servers, chances are you're not too keen to buy new racks every month to handle spikes in workloads. Instead, GCP offers a reliable VPN service that allows on-demand GCP instances to connect securely to your on-premise systems. That means that you can seamlessly spin up new instances in Google's cloud to handle workload spikes and spin them down when they are needed, which is way better than buying them yourself and having them sit around idle when they're not being used. So if you want more recaps on great Next content, make sure to check out the rest of our playlist and don't forget the Next World Tour coming soon to a city near you.